Carl. Let's end things off with this quickly. This year's only full lunar eclipse is upon us. Uh, super blood moon, if you will, uh, visible with the naked eye in most parts of the world. The moon's going to appear to be larger than usual and dusky red in colour. I won't lie, uh, Dr. Carolina Odman, I had a quick glimpse at it this morning and I wasn't quite sure what I was looking at. Uh, you're the Associate Professor and Director at the University of the Western Capes Inter-University Institute for Data Intensive Astronomy. I want to have that job one day when I grow up. Uh, tell me, why is this so unique? Good morning. Um, yes, it's really quite unique because what happens is you have an alignment between the sun, the earth and the moon. They're on a perfect line, which um, means that the, the, the moon is actually high hidden by the shadow of the earth. So if you have all three in a line together, um, the earth, the sun is about 150 million kilometers away. So you can imagine that the shadow of the earth is quite small, yet the moon is going right in the middle through it. And it gives this, the moon this beautiful red color that comes from the fact that it actually is seeing all the sunsets and sunrises happening at the same time on the earth. See, the moon doesn't have its own light. It reflects light from the sun, mm. but it, there's no sun. The only light it receives comes from, from these sunrises and sun, sunsets around the Earth. So from the moon, you'd see a red ring, and from the Earth, the early morning commuters today were treated to what we call a blood moon, a bright red um, full moon. Just yeah, that's, about that's what us early commuters saw this morning on the way to the office as well. I was wondering why uh, it looked exactly like we're seeing on camera now. Dr. Odman, uh, just very briefly before I say goodbye, if we didn't see it this morning, uh, have we missed the moment or can we still see it tonight perhaps? Uh, no, it lasts just a few hours, so you will have missed the moment. But uh, the next one, uh, fear not, is on the 14th of March, 2025. So we'll have to wait a couple of years before the next one. Right. But try not to miss it. It's beautiful. Yeah, Tums and I are going to put it in our calendar right oh, now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, as we say goodbye to Dr. <laughs> Carolina Odman from the University of the Western Cape. 14th of March, 2025. Go oh, yeah. on, write it in your diary. It's where we're going to